Hey guys, meteorologist Chris Tomer here with this mountain weather update. It is snowing in Colorado above 10,000 feet. Look at this awesome view up here at Aspen Hot on snow massing, this Aspen Mountain itself. Snow coming down. I've got additional snow coming, so this is not all. What you see right there with the storm total, we're going to add to that over the next 24 hours. Um, also, Loveland Skier, it is snowing there. They're reporting four or five inches of new snow. Um, new snow at Winter Park, higher up at the resort, and about five, six inches of new snow at Arapahoe Basin. So it's a powder day in Colorado. I want to show you uh, radar right now um, as well because look at this moisture just streaming in. So this is the Denver area where it is all rain. So what happens in Colorado is with this type of storm setup, this is a potent storm, all this moisture gets thrown in from the east. This is an upslope wind. The air hits the foothills, which are right here, and then the high mountains and the continental divide are up here. So all that is forced to rise up, and you get additional precip development, and that's what we're seeing in the form of snow above 10,000 feet. So that's why I expect additional accumulation um, on the way. Let me take you back. Um, I did write about this on my blog this morning, chrystomer.com. Snow is falling in Colorado along with soaking rain. Um, so take a look at that. A couple of uh, cams. There's uh, the Loveland skier up on the top of the continental divide. So it's coated. Forecast freezing levels. So again, all this falling above 10,000 feet. Take a look at those numbers. It stays high, briefly drops to 9,800 on the morning of 513. But each afternoon, it's up oh, well over 10,000 feet. And then look at this warm air coming, 514, 515. And an interesting thing may happen, 514, 515, as the winds weaken in the atmosphere, they're going to turn southerly and bring in like a monsoon-esque type of surge. Forecast wind gusts, if you're going to be out skiing, the powder on the high peaks, take a look at these numbers. Also included Mount Superior in Utah. All the winds are pretty light. Um, there's your forecast pattern. So that's effective 514 very late in the day. Let me take that full for you. So here's 514. So notice big ridging over the west with the jets way up into Canada. But over Colorado, New Mexico, the winds have started to turn southerly, and that's going to bring in some moisture, 514 to 515. Southern Colorado, rain likely, snow above 11,000. New Mexico, rain and snow depending on your elevation as well. That'll take up both of those days. And then later in the period, 519, massive ridge, big uh, jet, the northern branch tracking through Canada. So that's, it, this is a pretty quiet pattern for the west. Um, I mean, big high through California, Nevada, um, Oregon. You, you get the picture. I mean, that's what it's going to look like. All right, let me take you back. Um, so this is that monsoon-esque flow, 514, probably into 516. You can see the rich flow of moisture through. I mean, look at the above normal precip indicator there on the outlook through New Mexico, Arizona, southern Colorado, and parts of southern Utah and southern Nevada. So that's something that is going to happen as those winds weaken and they turn southerly, bring that gulf moisture in. I want to show you forecast timing here, uh, forecast radar and satellite. So by the time we get into Friday morning, storm system through Colorado is pulling away, but watch what happens uh, southern Colorado, New Mexico. Look at that flow coming in. It's very rich, and that would affect southern Utah and probably Arizona through 516 as well. Look at it it's still there. You can see the fingers of green coming up from the south. All right, let me show you the heavy rain potential. Again, this exists today and tomorrow in Colorado. That's Denver, the front range in the eastern plains. No surprise, right? I showed you the radar with all that moisture coming in, so we could see flash flooding in those areas. All right, I did break out forecast totals. A basin, probably another four today, another two in the morning tomorrow. And the afternoon, evening, and night on 513 Saturday night, three inches, another one inch on Sunday. Uh, let me just show you my numbers. I'll take this full um, for the west. The numbers look like, well, we'll just stick with that. We'll just go with that. Uh, I'll just take this. You can see the numbers anywhere from four to eight inches of additional snow from Eldora, Cameron, Longs, Winter Park, higher up, A Basin, Loveland. Not as much west of the Continental Divide, maybe down in southern Colorado, but that's coming from that rich southerly surge on Sunday and Monday. So you get an idea. We still have snow yet to fall today, tomorrow, and again a little bit over the weekend specifically in Colorado. All right, guys, well, that's going to do it for this uh, particular update. Always appreciate you tuning in here and take care.